was the last time he was ever. He was never invited again. Never. And he kept bugging me and bugging me and bugging me and bugging me. Trying to friend me on Facebook. Well, I don't even do Facebook. The building probably. next door is Miranova, which is where Ray Hanley, who was the president of the Greater Columbus Arts Council, and a drunken, at the end of a drunken evening, lost his footing over his dear elderly friend's balcony and fell five floors to his death. Right, we had just seen him at Art for Life, and he was drunk as a skunk yeah. there. And so they went back over to her place, right. a few of them. It was the president of CCAD, Columbus College of Art and Design, Ray, and a couple other people who were really big in the art scene. Wasn't he supposedly chasing after her little dog? No, he, or something? he was taking her dog out. He take your dog out to her because she's on the, the, the on the fifth, fifth floor, floor at Miranova. They have bal you know the balconies that have like dirt and trees and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he went out up on the dirt and oops, <laughs> <laughs> fell over. Fell over to his death. The dog didn't, but he did. And then the North Bank condo was where they had they were having oh. an open house on a Thursday night. And some queen who was, I guess, having a really bad day, walked out on the ledge and took a dive to his right. death. And I during was, the during the, the open the, house. The open house. And I was next door at Miranova speaking with a, a designer who, who's a friend of mine, big queen, and uh, he was sitting there. We were having a glass of wine, and he said, "I said, I was talking about how the." claim to fame of my building was that no one's plunged to their death. Mm -hmm. And he says, girl, if you'd have seen that condo, you'd have jumped too. <laughs> when I was talking about North Bank, he said, girl, if you'd have seen that condo, you'd, you'd have jumped, jumped too. too. And then Summit Chase, Summit Chase was where the designer lived with her husband. Mm -hmm. And he was unhappy. He was very unhappy. And he went up like four flights or five flights. Above. Because they lived on like the third floor, and he went up to like the sixth or seventh floor. Yeah, he went up four or five. To make sure floors. that when he did jump, nope, he'd be dead. He'd be dead. <laughs> he couldn't stand to live with her anymore. So, I don't know if has Park Powers had anybody. I don't know. Well, surely they have. Yeah. Well, they don't count. They're on. They're is, it, on. It's, is it as tall as some of these other buildings? Oh God, no, no, yeah. it's a sh it's a shorter one. But, but the Waterford remains unscathed thus far. Well, we have the biggest balconies. Yeah. So it's not as quite as easy. But boy, to when they when they take a plunge off it, it's it's going to be done. Oh, it'll, it'll be, be stripped home in an envelope. Yes. We keep hoping it'll be at my condo. <laughs> not really. <laughs> not really. That's we were we were gonna during uh, art for light or during the uh, arts festival the following year. Tom and I wanted to have a balloon of Ray Handley <laughs> off my balcony. <laughs> With hey, a, like a brick and just drop it off during the arts festival. But it did. We it never did, did it. No. We thought, we thought it would be too horrifying to people. We thought it might be a little distasteful. Mm -hmm. Not that we ever, would ever do anything. So tell me about that in that big painting. Like, why? when was that painted with all the people in it? Uh, I'm trying to think how old was John. John was. Parker was about 18 months, so that would have been 87, 88. 88, 89, something like that. And uh, and that was painted up at the farm. Yeah, it was painted up at the farm. The concept was done by Tom, my, mm -hmm. my former husband. Uh, can, oh, it's easily in the line. I decided I'm going to start painting again, Tom. Good. Horrifyingly. Good. Uh, uh, was his concept, the whole Renaissance thing. And uh, that's me. He rented the costumes and then decided after the people got there. Well, that's me and my son John, symbolizing like the firstborn. And I have a, she painted a peacock fan in my hand, which I didn't really have, which peacock feathers are bad luck because they were car carried a lot of peacock purses during the big flu epidemic. Mm -hmm. And then, so that's why the butterflies over my head. And then, Jeffrey, dead Jeffrey, we go to the party stages. And then these people actually just worked at the nail salon. She was a hairdresser and she was a hairdresser. And that's her husband mm -hmm. behind her. And they just looked right. But, well, we kind of had to let the hairdresser in yellow be there because she's the one that did my hair mm -hmm. that you can't see because of the hood. 
And the other one's just look right for the painting. And then that's my daughter. With Royce. With, yeah, Royce. But what a lot of people don't know is that it's actually, it was my, our brother-in-law, Phil, that stood in for Royce. Because okay. Royce was on the road with the Rockettes at that time, okay. I think. And so we just painted Royce's head. We had her paint Royce's head on top of the body and fill it out quite a bit more. He was the one that uh, told me he worked, uh, when he was working on Dream Girls, uh, that was when Jennifer <laughs> Holly had her big breakout as, as a 19 year old from Texas. And he told me that she'd walk off stage and dip her hands in a big bucket of fried chicken and then she'd wipe her greasy hands all over her $10,000 gown. <laughs> exactly, and Royce had to clean it up. Had to clean it. He was a lot at Casa Bignana and good friends. Of, I mean, he knew Debbie Reynolds and mm -hmm. all of those old stars. He worked stars. with Susan Anton and the Rockettes. And, oh, yes. They, we, had, and, we used to have parties for them. Yeah, they when used he, to have big cast parties up at their house. And uh, one year was Starlight Express. Uh, one, one year they had a party for, uh, they were doing a local production of Come Back to the Five and Dime, Jimmy Jean, Jimmy Dean, by our, our, we used to have an equity theater group here, and they brought in Tina Louise to star in the play, and they had Ginger. a house party up there. We weren't allowed to mention the G word at the party. No, we were not. But she, I ended up going uh, to Harding Hospital for mm -hmm. a little bit of recovery. For a little recovery. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Tina Louise came to visit me. So we're sitting outside. That was when you could still smoke in places like that. Anyway, I was sitting outside having a cigarette with Tina Louise and these crazy people would be walking by <laughs> and they'd look and there's these two redheads sitting on the bench, me smoke and Tina. And they'd so it's kind of like an American her. Horror Story. It really was. <laughs> it was. Well, that's Bebe, uh kept writing to me on Facebook and say, you are Myrtle Snow. You are Myrtle Snow. And then he texted me later and said, or I mean, uh, Facebook or whatever. Uh, I didn't mean it as an insult. You are Myrtle Snow. <laughs> I consider it a compliment. I, I consider it a compliment too. Balenciaga. <laughs> kind of like Skazi. But the table, Tom had, I mean, he had everything down to the last detail. He's very detail oriented. And I had I got up at like 3 30, 4 o'clock in the morning and roasted a goose and baked a turkey Lord. and fixed the you know the mashed potatoes and the or the mm. big big baked potato. I mean I fixed a whole feast stuffing and all that stuff. And Did then you have a roast beast? A roast beast? <laughs> no. <laughs> I should have. You should have had a roast beast. I should have had a roast beast. <laughs> but, uh, and all she ended up painting in there was the fruit. <laughs> you can't see any so the of goose, the other. the goose was cooked, but not in the painting. Exactly. <laughs> oh, and there's the, uh, the, the girl in yellow. Mm -hmm. It was kind of to portray the trollop, you know, like when oh. you're at, And the, the married woman has pearls before swine. Which was a well, of course, you know, I, we talk about the, the guy with the mask on was uh, unfortunately was, died in a lover's quarrel, his, his partner, and he were getting a big drunken fight. What do you and, mean, unfortunately? <laughs> he was really unfortunately, mean. Unfortunately, he was a really mean person, and uh, his partner shot him. Just, he was just trying to wound him, and he ended up uh, killing, killing him. him. But, you know, he got out of charges because uh, well, yeah, it was, was self-defense. It was self-defense. Jeffrey uh, put his arm through glass, mm -hmm. furniture. And, he was a mean. I mean, they rock. they really mm. fought a lot. Mm -hmm. But he was an incredibly talented designer. Very talented designer. And he huh? did well. He did our house at the farm, mm -hmm. and he also did and our big house in village. House, German which village, was a beautiful house, which was probably one of the most beautiful houses and ever. Boy, the parties there. <laughs> oh. We had a few. Yes. <laughs> we did have a few. I think that's pretty good. I think we got a good bunch of stuff. <laughs>